Happy Valentine's Day, Bulldogs. I'm Aaliyah. And I'm Wesley, and we're not dating. Why, why would you just randomly say that? Seems relevant. Anyways, today is the day of eternal loneliness and melted ice cream. What are you talking about? What is wrong with you? For this episode, we have made simple and delicious Valentine's themed content. Uh, I'm Cameron and I'm a junior. Jetsia Banger, I'm a junior. Kram. What grade are you in? I'm senior. Uh, I'm Ryan Rickerby, I'm in 12th grade. I'm Kyle Roop at Kyle underscore Roop, I'm in 12th grade. Uh, I'm Mr. Pringle, I teach uh, World History Geography 1 Honors, and I teach uh, two sections of the United States and Virginia History. My name's Ian, and I'm in, I'm a freshman. Um, are you going to be alone for Valentine's Day? Yeah, me, myself, and I. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I'm so, so lonely. Uh, no, I have a, I have a girlfriend, unfortunately. Define alone. Yeah? <laughs> I have friends, so I guess not. No, this is my Valentine. Um, because it's hotter than all the guys at this school. No. Why? Um, I'm talking to someone. Why? Um, because I just don't have anyone right now. Because, because what? you know what I'm saying? Nobody can love yourself better than yourself, you know what I'm saying? It's all about loving yourself. I don't know. Why? Because I have a girlfriend. I can't pull. Uh, I have no game. El Riz. No, I have a girlfriend. Uh, why? Ooh, why? Why are you not alone? Oh, I'm, why am I not alone? Because yeah. I'm in love. I have four kids, you know what I'm saying? I got a wife. I'm why, am I, why am I not single? Mm -hmm. Um, I met the right girl. But has I have someone special? Is this an open-ended question? Because I'm, I'm really focusing on myself right now. I'm really just taking this opportunity to, to just to focus on me and learn more about myself and just like, you know, see what I have to offer on my own terms and no other reason. Sounds like a very generic answer. I'm so good. what are you doing for Valentine's Day then? Uh, Valentine's Day, I'm going to find a girl and take her on a date. I'm good. I have no plans for Valentine's Day as it falls during the middle of the week and therefore uh, from a celebratory standpoint uh, time won't really allow for it. Uh, also, uh, I have to say, uh, since you're asking, I'm not a huge supporter of Valentine's Day. Essentially a Hallmark generated holiday in order to create greater revenue streams in between Christmas and Easter. Nothing. Hang out with my wife. Watch fate. Um, well, I'm gonna have a party because my sister's moving out, so... Um, freak out, then think, and then do something. I have no plans at the moment, I'm scared. Nothing. What am I doing for Valentine's Day? I'm about to be, I'm about to find a Valentine, you know what I'm saying? What else am I gonna do? So you gonna you know, hang out with your Valentine? I'm gonna find one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I'll probably just hang out with my friends and myself. I uh, don't know, I just feel like Valentine's Day is... It's just not meant for everyone. Mm -hmm. And you love you should love the person every day, not just that one day, you know? Show the love every day, not that one day. So what do you think Valentine's Day is about? Two people answering questions. What kind of questions? Our couples quiz questions, of course. Well? Um, Jupiter Spencer, I'm a senior. I'm Demian Gardner and I'm also a senior. How did you guys meet? Oh, orchestra, orchestra class. Orchestra, yeah. Um, what's your partner's favorite food? Sushi bowl, to what I know of. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's okay. <laughs> it's, it's poutine. It's good. It's what? Oh poutine. yeah. I forgot. Yeah. You, wait, you told me that. I know. <laughs> Damn. Also, you were wrong. <laughs> it's not? Okay, what's yours? Can it's, you tell me? It's lasagna. <laughs> oh shit. It's lasagna. <laughs> Damn. I didn't know that. Well, now we know. Okay. Uh, what's your partner's zodiac sign? Uh, Leo. Aquarius. 
Hey, we got it to go. Proud. Uh, Kamora in 12th grade. Um, I'm Cadence, I'm a senior. Leo. The Terrace. Why do you say it like that? Because I need to know that you, I know. It's like, a Taurus. Uh, no. It's not all set at all. <laughs> what, is it Taurus? I don't care what y'all say to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's not terrorists. It's certainly uh, not that. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest fear? Um, like one day she wake up and like I wouldn't be there like... Oh my god! <laughs> like I would oh. fall to my knees. Okay. Cause I don't know. I feel like you should know mine. <clears throat> um, yeah, I should. Um... <clears throat> um... <clears throat> you <I> think, <laughs> we're doing worse than the fake couples, I think. Nah, I don't know. <laughs> you can even guess. Dang. Old <laughs> girlfriend moment. That's like. so terrible. No. <laughs> okay, I'm Jake, and I'm a senior. I'm Mateo, and I'm a junior. And before this starts, I would just like to clarify because. The couples in the past have been, you know, same same gender, right? This looks real bad, but <laughs> me and him are just friends, okay? Yeah, for sure. Just for saying. Sure. For sure. For sure. Just saying. Definitely, yeah. Oh, Gemini. Um, I don't know the zodiac signs. Is that like like an equestrian or something? Is that? Like... How dare you, <laughs> dude? What? He doesn't have a celebrity crush. Whatever he gets. Or if what he wants, he gets. Okay. okay? He doesn't need a Yo, crush on down. anyone. I'm out of here. I'm a rock. Hi, what's up, guys? Uh, it's Jake here, and today I'm with my boy, Rylan Shim, Division One Gators commit, uh, golf expert here. Yeah. <laughs> And my boy Serge, yeah. Chilling, chilling. So he's here, and today we're at the golf range, and the biggest goal of the day, we're gonna get Jake to hit it 150 yards. Yeah, that's good. First rule of golf, first lesson: always stretch. These are my go-to's. Uh. Hit this jump right here, and then touch your toes. Now you feeling limber? We yeah. ready to go. Second lesson of golf is the grip. The most important. So boys, first rule, you're gonna grab it in the side of your hand like just like this. Right here. Okay. In this hand. In left your, or right? In, in your left hand. hand. You're gonna get your left hand, open it up, and you're gonna put the glove from here to this middle of this finger, right here. And then once you have that, you're gonna wrap it around. So it should be like this, and you can hold it strongly with just your left hand. Perfect. Okay, gotcha. So now you're gonna do this. This is a pretty standard grip, the 10 finger grip, good for beginners. You're gonna grab it and you're gonna put it right in the middle of your fingers here. So it's gonna look like that when you first grab it and then you're just gonna wrap your fingers around and you're gonna wrap this part right over the thumb, cover the, cover the hot dog, that's what they call it right there. Right, and that's your grip. Now you uh, don't change it from there, right? All right, the third lesson is how you align to your target. We're gonna try to hit it at that white flag, which is about 160 yards. First right. rule, you're gonna get your club head, this is your club head here, and you're gonna make sure it's aimed up to that white flag. And then, you're gonna do the same grip that I just taught y'all in, in lesson two. And once you do that, you can set up your feet to the target, and then Jake, you wanna scoot back a little bit, and then I'll hit it. And then from there, easy part, you just hit it. So now, is there a guy's chance to do it? <laughs> All right, Sergio. All right, we got, the first we got rule. Serge, Serge off the Remember, right. set the club head first and then the grip, and then easy part swing. Now move your feet a little wider. Yep, now swing it. Serge, you got it, you got it. Yeah. Yay. Oh my God. All right, Jake. All right. 
All right. All right, Jake. All right, run me, run me through right. the steps again. Yeah. I got, I got. So remember, now Strong we gotta put it all together. Strong so grip. first, you gotta put your club head to that white flag. So aim up your club head to the white flag behind the ball. Where the, where the white flag? White, yeah, so first, aim your club head to the white flag. Okay. Right there. And then wrap. Behind the ball, to the white flag, just like that. All right, so we're gonna work on Jake's setup a little bit. The biggest thing he's gotta do is step back a little bit, and he's gonna wanna hinge a little bit more, just like that. And make sure he, when he's set up, he's oh. right behind the ball. Don't worry. Yo, get, get the glutes in, get the glutes. <laughs> right? Yeah, See, yeah, yeah. that's a much better setup. And then from, that's the easy part. Now, Nate needs to let it rip. Okay, ready? You're an athlete. All right. Oh, snap. Was that? I think you hit it. Good. Yeah. The guys did a really good job on their setup, but I was lying when it said it was the easy part to hit the ball. This is the hardest part. So these are so few fundamentals on how to hit it that they're gonna use next time, and hopefully they can hit it a little bit better. You're gonna do the same setup like you do. The, the biggest thing when you swing it is that you don't wanna stand up or get down. You wanna make sure that your head is still the whole time, and you're just gonna, it's, it's this one arc with your shoulders. So you're just taking it back with your shoulders, just like that. And then you're making sure you're not going up or down. And by the time you get back, you're gonna be right at the same spot. So same setup, target, head, grip, perfect. And then now, just move the shoulders. Oh my God. Where Bro, where did, that, where did that even go? Same setup, just remember what I said. Just move the shoulders. <laughs> Two. Oh. See, you know, just like that, like, <laughs> you know, this this stuff really comes easy to me. Like, I just kind of am naturally good. Like, just be like, all right, sign off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the sunset going down, I think these guys did a really good job. I'm really proud of them. They, they're good listeners. They listen to my instruction. Um, you know, we got a good, a lot of good swings in there. Uh, I'm proud of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, yeah. Thank you for joining us today at the at the range. My boy Rylan, Serge, and of course you can't forget the cameraman, Janai. All right. Thank you, boys. We'll see you back at the studio. Okay, so I'm not a robot? No, Wesley, you're not a robot. Ah, <sighs> jeez, this existential crisis made me hungry. Shanty boy? So yeah. if you could change your career, what would you have changed it to? Uh, so I never thought teaching was actually going to be in the direction I go or school administration. Uh, I wanted to be a Secret Service agent growing up. Uh, I went down to Washington one year, found it phenomenal. But then I had a really great uh, 12th grade teacher for government and he inspired me to go into education. I'll be an editor, nothing else. So, yeah, definitely. So again, I love sports. So probably one of the worst experiences I've had at Westfield is when we lost, I think it was against Freedom Woodbridge in 2019 in the playoffs. Quarterback goes down, have to bring in backups. It, it, it was a really well fought game, but unfortunately we just didn't win. Speaking of loss, my worst experience at this school was losing a bunch of footage that was really good, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what episode that was. <laughs> All right, question three, what is your favorite hobby and why? Uh, so again, I was just talking about sports. Uh, my favorite hobby is watching sports. Um, I was born in Philadelphia and raised outside of it, so any Philadelphia sports team is exactly what I want to be doing and watching. So this weekend I'll be watching the Eagles. Go Birds. All right, uh, my hobbies are pretty much just editing, graphic design. I make this little logo. It's pretty swell, pretty great. Um, anything that has to do with creating content, I'm in. Oh, Philadelphia Eagles. Go Birds. Disgusting. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Any team that is winning, you know, I'm just here for the silly little ads, you know, whopper, 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 <laughs> you know, all those stuff, pretty good. I would go live in France. I thought the food was phenomenal, was there once. Not Paris though, too busy, couldn't go there again, but uh, definitely outside of it.
Yeah, uh, yeah um, I'll probably go where it's like really cursed. So I'll probably go to like place like Ohio or <laughs> Australia where the big spiders are, you know, all those places. Uh, definitely the day we came back from COVID. So that was um, March 2nd, uh, 2021, we came back. And just being in classrooms and seeing kids smile and faces, that, that made my day. Okay, I'm going to be really wholesome here. This class was the best thing that ever happened at this school. Not gonna lie. The content, the, ha the, the funnies we had, it was great all year round, you know? All right, we got to I'll go after first. I'm still sweating from the last time I did it. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Very original. Mm. I'm going to keep going. <laughs> no starting triple a little bit. I told you, I'm sweating. Between that and the lights. All right, here we go. Sure. It's a very simple one, very easy. Pizza or pasta? Pizza. A good pizza. I made it through that first bite. <laughs> Sweating. We're gonna use the other right. side. Yeah. The so slow. Mm. All right, let's see. Let's see how fast this will be now. Oh my gosh, he's actually doing it. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> All right, I think. All I'm right. Sweat like me soon. <laughs> Now this is how much hot sauce I would normally put on the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently take off the table. All right, right. Yep. He doesn't have hair on the top of his head. He does but, not. But if he did, what style is he rocking, do you think? I could easily see him doing Hulk Hogan. You know, he's got the great beard, he can do the handlebar mustache, get some hair, slick it back. Totally Hulk Hogan. All right. Uh, I would say he would, he would really pull off an afro, you know, just full on like '80s afro, humongous. I think that will suit him really well. Would he keep the facial hair though? Yes, he would okay. keep the facial hair. I think we're missing something. Yeah, there is something missing. I know now. It's football season. No! Classic Marcos. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Hello. Welcome to Minute with Mateo. That was very good. Thank you, friend. We'll start with basketball. At the time of recording, they are 8-9, and nine, coming off a fat dubski versus Chantilly. The next game, I believe, is a playoff game. That's all the information I have. The opponent has not been announced yet. Hopefully will by the time this episode comes out. Good luck, guys. And then for track, the districts recently ended. Lots of first place finishes like Jason Bell in the 55 meter, DJ Baker in the long jump and triple jump, Salma Fazawi in the 55 meter hurdle and triple jump, and Johanna Stewart in the high jump and long jump. Westfield also won the boys four times 200 relay. Four times 200 meters, good job guys. And last but not least, uh, from what I'm covering, we have wrestling. They just won Concord District and uh, by the time this is aired, the regionals would have been finished also. Individually, the wrestlers that won districts were Nick Ta at 132 pounds and Robert Rires at 138. That's... And that's all we got. Right, Wesley? Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I hope so. Um, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at The Westfield Show.